Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss one of the feature of Playwright. Okay, this is very nice features. Using this, we can capture the login uh, cookies. Okay, and we can store in a file and then saved cookies we can inject in the test script, next test script that will automatically log in the application and we don't need this will be this will be very helpful when we have multiple test cases and in each test cases we need to log in in the application okay so we can skip the login by using this concept okay so what we can do we can create first we launch the application login in the applications and capture the cookie and store in the file then this file we will inject into the remaining steps remaining script okay in and in remaining step we don't need to log in so let's see how we will implement this using the playwright so here one test i have created capture session where i am going to write login in the orange hrm application here i need to enter username password okay then click on login button after login button we will capture the session and store in one json file using some playwright api so this is a user field username so we can call here is dot locator okay first we need to click create the page object so how we do that this is page page equal to context dot new page it will return the page object and we can store in page object so now next first step we need to navigate the url okay using page method so i can copy this url and paste here Second step, we need to enter the username. So we need to call the page locator dot fill, and here we need to provide the user. So username is admin. Second step, we need to fill password and then click on login button. Password is admin one two three, and then click on the login button. Okay, now let me capture the element locators and then I will paste here. So, in first case, this is the username here field. Okay, we can create CSS selector. Yeah, this is created. Copy this and paste here. For second password field, this is the name. equal to password name equal to password so in password input field i will fill the admin one two three so next step click on login button so let me capture the login field element so i'm using this type equal to yeah so this is fine copy this and go to here to click. Now the login step is created. After that, I need to call the page dot context dot store method. So context will provide a method. This is store storage state. Okay. Here we need to pass the options browser context like kind of file path where we need to uh, set up, save the uh, cookie, right? We need to provide here file name. So there is a storage options, then dot set path. We can call here paths dot get path and then provide the file name. So file name in which file we need to store the session of the application. So like I'm going to auth, dot json okay so now let me run and you will see it will automatically store the 
listen in auth.json file okay i can call the playwright.close it will close the browser Yeah, now started running the test by default it will run on chromium browser because we are calling the chromium yeah in the username password click on login button okay and if i now refresh the page you will see the auth.json file this json file will holds complete uh, cookie information right where we have name of the application value domain path expires okay this is the cook information now one test here i capture the session and other test where we are reuse going to reuse the session okay so let me create one test to navigate only the url this one okay now what we need to do we need to here store the session so when we are creating the context object, here we need to pass the details. Browser dot new context option dot storage state path. Okay, then call the path variable dot get and same file auth dot json we can pass. Okay, now if I run this test, then you will see it will automatically log in. Okay, using the existing session which we stored from previous test in this auth dot json file. We are running the test and here you can see i don't need to log in All right this is automatically login in the application with existing token number okay let's see how we will manage these using the test ng so i am creating test ng's session test ng test Okay, where I am going to use a notation before suite because this test will initially run, this method will run at the starting, at the beginning. So we can, this is the method, this and capture. Okay, in this section, we can call the add the code which will use the existing, uh, capture the existing steps. This complete code we can move here. Okay, and then we have before method. Okay, before method added. So now I added here the before method. In this method, we can create the playwrights object with the existing session. This one. This variable, these variables we can create as a instance level so that we can use where required throughout the class. And this is the part of the test. Test. This is suppose that test one, okay, where I need to log in into the application. We have another test where again, here I'm going to navigate 
some different URL. Like I am going to click on the admin. So this is the locator. Here I'm going to click on the admin. So call the dot locator passing the locator here and then call the click method. So this is the navigate admin module. So we have one leap. So let's me create one other locators to navigate the leap option. So we can click. Let me create text. Locator by using the text here. Then. So in first test, I am going to click, click on the leap, and in second test, I will click on the admin module. So you will see in both tests, it will automatically log in. We don't need to log in again. Now let me run because this is the before suite. So this will run as initially. Once this will complete, it will save the authentication in auth.json file. And in remaining both tests, this will use. Okay, we need to create this as the instance object, not the look. So we I just created remove the here page. Okay, now it will this context dot new page it will store in a instance variable of the page here. So in that case, we will not get them. There. So let me run again. So now running the test. So first it will log in, in the application, capture the session the cookies in a file, and then in remaining two tests, it will automatically log in. We don't need to log in. We need, don't need to add the steps to log in, in the application. First, and in second test, you can see this is also not need login. And, okay, so hope this will be helpful. This feature will be helpful in your test cases, in your applications, okay? And it will reduce some piece of code, line of code, okay? And your execution will go faster. Thanks for watching the video.